When I coached collegiate tennis, we had a saying at Vanderbilt, give your opponent enough rope to hang themselves. And simply what we were asking of our players was to put one more ball in play. So putting one more ball into play is just you giving them the chance to f it up. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to defend like a champ. Let's start with the mindset. A lot of players are reluctant to scrap and throw themselves around on the court because it doesn't look pretty. Uh, newsflash, the scoreboard really doesn't care whether you win a point by playing defense or hitting a winner. But the bottom line will look a whole lot different. So if you take pride in defending, pride in forcing errors instead of going for shots that you may not have or that are not appropriate, you're gonna win a lot more matches. The first rule of defending is to get back into a good defensive position and create time. So you have the time to get into that good spot of recovery. So you wanna get away from this and this to a well-balanced position where you can cut off angles again, where you can look to move forward. When you're being pulled off the court, do your darnest to go cross court. Do your darnest to get some height on the ball. Cross court will allow the ball to travel longer, a longer distance, that creates time. And of course, height, the ball also travels longer. So that is what you need. You create the time for you to move back into your appropriate defensive position. If you're on the run from all the way on the outside to over here and you're trying now to slap a winner down the line, don't do this. This is dumb. Um, yeah, you might make one out of 10 and it feels awesome, but you're still gonna lose the match. The same goes when you're all the way back here. When you're being pushed off the baseline, you wanna return the ball high and heavy. Lots of topspin, so you have time to move forward again and be ready to jump on offense if the situation called for it. Hey, by the way, did you see this point? It's ridiculous. If you're completely out of position, throw up sky balls. Nobody cares because if Andy Murray can do it and he thinks that's a good tactical decision, then I think we should probably take a look at it and do that as well. Use your slice to defend. The backspin will also slow your own ball down. And that, again, gives you time to recover. The added benefit, of course, is on a slice that ideally the ball is low. And that means that your opponent has to move up to the ball and possibly lift the ball, which also makes it slower. And again, that gives you more time to recover, especially when people have really extreme grips and or a two-handed backhand. A slice is a great way to dig yourself out of a hole because with either of those shots, extreme grips and a two-handed backhand, it's really difficult to get under the ball. If you're comfortable hitting slices, work on both a shorter and a deeper slice because especially that shorter slice opens angles, it pushes your opponent off the court and it also pulls them up. So moving diagonally to a ball is difficult for a lot of people who just like to run right and left. Now, by definition, when somebody's attacking you, they have the upper hand, they're the attacker. And it's not the easiest nor the smartest decision to try to hit a really precise shot when you're somewhere on the run. So much better idea is to neutralize that first ball and take a cue from pickleball. Dip the ball down to the approacher's feet. If you manage to get the ball low, they have to lift it, which slows the ball down, which is a much tougher first volley to play. And that gives you time for a much more balanced position to get into because yeah, if it's a slower ball, you get to the ball hopefully a little quicker and better balanced. The second option then also is to just throw lob over them after you dip the ball down low because you pull them in. And a lot of players then may get up to the first volley 
but they're not recovering appropriately. They're just stuck at net. That's when you lob them. Regardless of level, getting the serve back is crucial. Now, whereas at lower levels, a good idea to defend against harder serves is to just simply move back. Just step back one or two steps to give yourself more time. The next thing that you may have to do is, instead of taking a huge swing, you just block the ball. You just shorten up your take back. The higher you get in the ratings, of course, the serve is a weapon, but not just the serve, also the next ball of your return. Serve plus one, you hear that all the time. So here's a great drill to neutralize that first serve and take away the option of, yeah, attacking the second ball. What you're trying to do is literally ram that ball straight back at them. Just get the ball deep through the middle. That jams them, that takes away angles that they need to hit a successful second ball. I do know that it's not necessarily always the pace of the serve that poses a problem for players. How do you return a dink serve? A slower ball that pulls you in and you tend to overhit. Well, got a solution for that. Watch this video here. Okay, wanted to cross court.